What's good YouTube, in today's video I'm going to be showing you every single control in Hoops Life. This video did take me a while to make so I really appreciate it if you give this video a like, comment what type of Hoops Life content you want to see next. I'm currently making a lot of Hoops Life content so if you want to see more content like this please consider subscribing. We are so close to 100 subs and I really appreciate it. There are timestamps to everything in the description so if you're looking for a certain thing you can find it there. Now without further ado let's get into the video. Running is pretty simple, it's just the right trigger, R2 on PlayStation, RT on Xbox, or Shift on keyboard and mouse. The post up, it's either L2 on PlayStation, LT on Xbox, or G on computer. To post up, it's either L2 on PlayStation, LT on Xbox, or G on keyboard and mouse. On defense, it's going to guard your opponent, but since I'm in a gym, it's not going to work. Next is shooting. So on PlayStation, it's square, Xbox, it's X, and on keyboard, it's E. You're just going to hold that button until it fills up the bar in the bottom half of the circle underneath you. If you tap this button, it's going to pump fake. And on defense, it's going to steal the ball. But I don't recommend stealing the ball too much because you can get your ankles broken if you do it while they cross. Next up is switching what ball the hand is in. For PlayStation, it's circle. For Xbox, it's B. And for keyboard and mouse, it's H on the controller. Screening is the same button that you use to switch hands. But on keyboard and mouse, it's V. Next up is dunking. On PlayStation, you can use triangle. On Xbox, you're going to use Y. And on computer, you're going to use the space bar. On defense, this button is going to jump to block. To do a standing dunk, you're going to stand near the rim, walk towards it, and tap the dunking button. To do a driving dunk, you're going to hold the sprint button and tap your dunk button. Next up is rebounding. On PlayStation, it's R1. On Xbox, it's RB. And on keyboard, it's F. On controller, your A or X button, I don't think it really does anything, but in the gym, it does drop the ball, and on keyboard to do that, it's just P. Alright, next up is dribbling moves. Now, for controller, I like to use this camera. To do that, you're going to click the left mover down, but I don't think you can do this on keyboard. So, for dribbling, everything really matters what hand the ball is in. For instance, if the ball is in your right hand and you're trying to do a spin to the right, it's not going to work. So first up, we're going to do hezzies. With the ball in your right hand, you're going to click D-pad right, you're going to flick your stick right, or you're going to press C. For hezzy left, it's D-pad left, right stick left, or Z. For crossover, you're just going to do the opposite direction that the ball is in. So if the ball is in your left hand, you're going to go right. So on keyboard, if the ball is in your left hand, you're going to press C. And if it's in your right hand, you're going to press Z. For basic step back, it's just flick the stick down, D-pad down, or X. For between the legs, you're going to do the same thing as a step back, but you're going to do it twice quickly. So D-pad down quickly, you're going to click X twice quickly. Or on stick, you're going to go down up. So for behind the back, for the D-pad, if the ball is in the right hand, you're going to do right down. And for the left hand, you're going to do left down. On keyboard, if the ball is in your right hand, you're going to do CX. And then if it's in the left hand, you're going to do ZX. For controller, if the ball's in your left hand, you're going to flick it left down. If it's in the right hand, you're going to flick it right down. For spin, if it's in your right hand, on the D-pad, you're going to do right down left fast. If it's in the left hand, you're going to do left down right fast. On keyboard, if the ball's in your right hand, you're going to do CXZ. And if it's in your left hand, you're going to do ZXZ. For a half spin, on the D-pad, you're just going to click up. On keyboard, if the ball's in your right hand, you're going to click CXC, but super fast. If the ball's in your left hand, you're going to do ZXZ super fast. And for the mover, you're just going to flick it up. On controller, it doesn't really matter what hand the ball's in for a half spin. It's just the same thing, up. Now next up, we have post moves. So to post up on controller, you're going to hold L2. LT or on keyboard you're going to hold G. So to do a post spin, whatever way you're facing, you're going to go the opposite way. So since I'm, my body's facing right, I'm going to move myself to the left and let go of the post button at the same time. For a post fade, while you're posted up, you're going to move yourself away from the hoop and hold the shoot button at the same time. For a post hook, you're going to move yourself towards the hoop and hold the shoot button. So for passing on keyboard, when you're playing, there's going to be numbers above your teammate's head. Whatever number is above their head, you're going to press that number to pass it to them. To do a normal pass, you're just going to press the number. But to do a chest pass, you're just going to hold shift and press the number above their head. On controller, you're going to hold either R1 or RB, and then you're going to press either A, B, X, Y, or circle X 
square or triangle. So for the number above their heads, on Xbox, A is 1, B is 2, 3 is Y, and 4 is X. On PlayStation, X is 1, 2 is circle, 3 is square, and 4 is triangle. And I believe that is every control in the game. If I missed anything and you have questions, tell me in the comments down below and I'll happily answer your questions. Again, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We're so close to 100 subscribers. And I'll see you guys in the next video.